Hi, I'm Sam from the Autodesk Shot Grid team. Welcome to the Shot Grid setting up my environment with the REST API. In this video, we are assuming you are new to Shot Grid and have connected with the Shot Grid administrator from your team. We also assume that you have some programming knowledge. First, we'll need to set up a personal access token, which will allow Autodesk applications to authenticate APIs and run scripts on our behalf. We've created an in-depth tutorial which covers this process, and the link can be found in the description of this video. In this video, we'll cover how to set up the REST API using Postman. Later, We'll also walk through reading and updating a shot that we created previously using the Python API. The REST API is a UI list data access interface that contains a set of rules and guidelines for building a web API. This includes functionalities around entities and CRUD requests, authorization and authentication for API, and site preferences. To set up the ShotGrid REST API, use the link in the description box to download the ShotGrid environment. If you're new to Postman, you'll have to create an account. Now that we have our account up and running, we can launch Postman in a browser or in the app. Once that opens, click on My Workspace to import the following collection to our workspace. Once we have our workspace open, we'll be declaring three variables under the Variables tab, host, login, and password. The host value is formatted as yoursite.shotgrid.autodesk.com, where your site contains the URL for your Shotgrid site. Your login and password will be the same as your Postman login credentials. Let's ensure to save our variables. Going back to the Authorization tab, we are going to make some changes to the input fields. Now that everything has been declared, we should be able to get our new access token. Hooray! We successfully gotten our token. After clicking Use Token, we will then see the access token pop up. Keep in mind that these tokens are time sensitive, so we will have to repeat the steps above to refresh our token as needed. Let's now ensure our new token is working by reading a single record. In the parameters field, let's deselect all the query parameters. We can fill out our path variables with a name and with our ID value of 2428 we obtained from Shotgrid. In the next heading, ensure the type under Authorization is selected as Inherent Authorization from Parent. Now let's save our changes and click Send to ensure everything works. Great! We've just read one record. Let's now update a shot's description in Postman in the drop-down tab called Update an Existing Record. Let's create a new query parameter called fields with a value of description and our new description. We'll call ours updated by the REST API. Let's also declare the same path variables as earlier and save these changes. Under the Authorization tab, we'll also select Inherit Authorization from Parent. Moving to the Body tab, this is where we will be manually inputting a new description. We'll change ours to updated by the REST API. Let's save these changes and click Send. Awesome! We should now be able to see our new changes in our ShotGrid site. Let's verify this by refreshing our site. For reference, we can see our former description.
We have successfully updated our description on our site. Nice! We also have a toolkit API that is available to develop apps and engines, do advanced integration into our pipeline, and workflows. For more information about the toolkit platform and toolkit core API, visit our developer documentation referencing the link in the description box.